What's up everybody? If you happen to own a Retina MacBook Pro from 2012 to early 15, since this is the early 2015 model that I have, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to show you how to replace the rubber feet. I got some new rubber feet here. And yes, they do have the rubber feet on eBay, of course, which I pay like three bucks. Hopefully, these will do just as good as the original Apple ones, even though this is a known problem with all the any MacBook Pro out there. So this is model A1502. And you're going to need a pentalope. Let's see what this is. A you can easily get one of these little screwdrivers from eBay or Amazon or anywhere or you can get or if your iFixit kit has one so you're going to remove these little screws around the these little star shaped screws which are basically Torx bits I already took the rubber feet off of mine because I'm about to put some new ones anyway I even got a spare set of screws if I lose the screws but I got something to put the screws in so So you want to go ahead and loosen up all four screws and, I mean not all four screws but all the screws so I'm going to put this down for a minute and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the back cover of the MacBook Pro off, I went ahead and cleaned, it, cleaned all the dirt and debris that was collected over the years, which was also a good time while I had this apart so. How I got it open was once I removed all four screws. I grabbed, gently pried it from the back and it lifted right on up. You just gotta carefully pull it out. So here are the rubber feet that we're gonna be putting on. So I'm gonna take you over here and I'm gonna put this down for a sec while I get this little bag open. You wanna carefully take one out. So once you got that off the, the once you got them out the little package, so you want to carefully line it up right here. And it should perfectly click into place. Just want to feel around it just to make sure. Alright, got the computer back on and the moment of truth is um, it doesn't slide like it used to. Plus uh, I never slid it around to mess it up anyway. So let me go ahead and flip it upside down and show you the rubber feet. I have them reinforced as well. Not bad for three bucks on eBay to replace any rubber feet that you're missing on your Retina MacBook Pro. This will work with any Retina MacBook Pro from the 2012 models all the way up to the early 2015 model like this early 2015 one that I have. If you're unsure what model number your MacBook is, there's a a model number underneath the laptop so it'll help you determine whether it's a 13 inch or 15 inch so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks for watching